Good evening, my name's Karen Tai. To set the scene, you need to know a little bit about me. I'm 54 and I've been happy to be married to my gorgeous Johnny for nearly 22 years. We have two wonderful children, but then I would say that. Lizzie, who is in her second year studying medicine at Bristol University, proud mummy, and our son Marcus, who is in his final sc uh, school year with A-levels looming. In terms of health, being bald may give it away a bit. But it was this time last year that I was finally confirmed that I had secondary breast cancer and therefore it's inoperable and incurable. In fact, even since becoming a trustee back in June, I had to come to terms with a shortened life expectancy. I think it's important to talk honestly and openly about death because it isn't something in Western society that we talk about very much. Other societies do. And they always say a problem shared is a problem halved. Having it out in the open, particularly from the patient's perspective, means that I am giving permission for all of my friends and family to be open if they want to. If they don't, that's fine. But by me being open, I've given them permission to be whatever way they want. And they can be closed, they don't have to talk about it. They can ignore the subject if they want but people take their lead from the patient. And actually in chemo the other day, it was really interesting. I was talking to another lady who was saying, I want to talk about it. And her husband said, but I really don't like talking about it. And it made me realize how lucky I am having everybody around me who takes their signal from me because this lady really needed to talk and she couldn't talk to her own husband about it. And I thought that was really sad. Being open and honest and talking about death has prepared, I think is preparing my children. By being open and talking about it with my husband, the children have seen, my children have seen how we talk about it. And as well as being able to express their emotion. Like I cry sometimes, I, you know, it's not that I'm very, can be very dispassionate, but of course I get upset and I get upset in front of my children and they then see how I am honestly coping with what I'm going through, but it is preparing them for, a, for when I do eventually die and so that it won't be a shock and that they will be more prepared and, and hopefully we'll be able to deal with it better. And after I've died and my funeral and that they will take part in is on the journey to having happy memories. That's what I want. Ultimately, I don't want the process of my dying to be terribly negative. I want it to be a positive part of their lives and that they remember death in a positive way. And so by being open and honest and laughing and crying and just being however I feel means they're ready for, for when it eventually happens. Please be assured, I have no intention of popping my clogs anytime soon.